There seems to be some savage fight going on between my son and stepson, so I can... I... What's up, everybody? Welcome to Shoutcast, episode 25.1. Is it 25.1 or 26.1? I don't even fucking know. It is 25.1 because last week was 25, right? Uh, yeah. So 25A, 25B, 25 and a half. Whatever. <laughs> we can call it 37 if we want to. <laughs> I was just going to go with 26 and say last week was the last episode. but <laughs> I thought about doing that. Which is what led me to 25.1, and then yeah. on a very long way of going, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, if you can't tell by my face, I'm fucking exhausted, so pardon my lack of enthusiasm if it does end up being that way, but it's been a long week for me, and another one coming up, as I'm quite sure it is for a lot of you guys out there, guys and gals. Ugh. But, uh, yeah. Anybody that wants to know what we did last week, you'll see a hilarious fucking conversation between me and Josh, uh, exclusively on Patreon, because, well, you'll see, but, um, <laughs> yeah, cool. Well, let's just talk about this movie first, since I just watched, you know, I, I missed some of it because I was having to, my attention was getting taken from me, but I was able to, to, to watch the whole movie. I, I, I watched it all, uh, very long, but I enjoyed it. Um, it's called uh, the Yellow Sea. Yep. Yeah, the Yellow Sea, and that was Josh's pick for the week last week. Um, Korean movie. Uh, where did you hear about this one? Uh, just because I I looked up the director because um, it's the same director that did the Whaling and the Chase. Oh, the Whale. That's right. It was I couldn't remember who it was. I knew you told me it was somebody we were familiar with. Yeah. So the this director's only done three movies. The Chaser was his first movie. This was his second, and then he did the Whaling. Okay. And this is the only one I hadn't seen. It'd been high on my list of things to watch for a while just because I really like those other two movies. And it's got, I looked it up and everyone said it was really good. So I've been wanting to watch it for a while. Same, same actors from The Chaser, which I, you know, I, have you seen The Chaser, Chris? I have not. Man. It's been on my list to watch too. Yeah. That these guys, there's a awesome. lot of familiar faces in this one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, especially yeah. since we've been, we've watched so many of their of uh, the movies from over there now. Yeah, we start pick the the main actor is also in um, um, the Handmaiden too. He's oh really? Guy. Okay, I knew I knew him from something. Yeah, yeah. So he's been around. Well, it was about two hours and twenty minutes, roughly. It's on Amazon Prime. If anybody's interested in watching it after we talk about it for a minute. Um. That movie was pretty wild, dude. It's kind of like uh it was like a three-piece combo of like The Fugitive, I Saw the Devil, and The Raid, kind of like mixed up together. It had like really big elements of all three of those type of types of movies. And I'm using those cuz I think people know those movies, but like sure. it really felt like big chunks of all of those kind of mixed together. It was, it's got its own spin. It was definitely not just a copycat movie, but boy was it violent and brutal. Uh, and it yes. slowly <laughs> built up to that. It started out, it really wasn't. It was more of a, it had some violence in it. And then by like the halfway point, it was switched into a violent movie. It was, uh, it, 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 it was gradual. It was, it, they did it well, is what I'm trying to say. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. But, um, Josh, you're going to be able to do this better than me because my memory, even though I just watched it, is so bad <laughs> that I'm not going to try to tell everybody what it's exactly about. So why don't you explain it? What's, what's, what's the premise in a you know roundabout way yeah. uh so it's about a taxi driver uh that lives in uh, china that uh is very poor and he's in over his head with some gangsters some he can't repay his debts uh so mahjong <laughs> yeah so he's playing mahjong and losing more money <laughs> dude they do that so fast too i was watching that man I was like, oh my god! Dude, <laughs> like, how do, you, how do like, they yeah, even keep up? Gonna play that game. <laughs> yeah, I have no clue what any of that was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was lost <laughs> immediately. But uh, yeah, so he he gets in over his head, and so he gets hired by this uh, gangster basically to uh, 
to perform a hit over in South Korea. Um, so, and you know, he gets sent over there on a boat and to kill this guy he doesn't know why, uh, but he's got to you know do it to pay his debts and try and protect his family so to keep them safe. And shit just goes real, real wrong from there. <laughs> The whole time I was watching the first 30, 40 minutes of this movie, I kept thinking how cool it would be. <laughs> I'm such an idiot, man. How cool it would be if this was the same cab driver that was in, uh, if he turned out to be the guy that that, that was in, uh, I saw the devil that got oh. <laughs> killed, his cab got taken. If that ended up being like the same cab driver that got his cab stolen. All I was right. shocked. It, it just because they felt so similar to me, man. They felt really, really similar in the brutality like at the yeah. very end when the cop is talking to the guy and they're like walking out of that building after he ties the, sh the shirt around his arm they're mm -hmm. walking out of the building and he says something to him and he hits him in the face with an axe dude i was like oh my god like yeah like breaks his jaw and is like <laughs> pouring blood just, yeah. just like just pouring out of, but he's just i don't know man there was a lot of brutality in this movie dude uh, that the scene with the uh like the pig bone he just beat oh, yeah. people with that. Is that bone. what it was? A pig bone? I was. Yeah. I, I don't know if I missed what they had killed or something, but I was like, "What in the fuck kind of bone is that?" <laughs> yeah, he large. beats the shit out of like three guys with that bone. Yeah. He throws it at one guy. He's like, "What?" It's just like the noises it was making was. That's what. That's what was getting me. Is that? Yeah. And I, am I talking really loud? I feel like I am. Uh, yeah. The um, the noises that it made, specifically with the axes and the knives. Mm. I've not seen a person hit with an axe but i've seen like an an animal hit with an axe like a carcass hit with an axe it sounded very close to that so i don't know how they did the sound engineering on this maybe they had some dude in the back just hacking <laughs> at animals or something but uh numerous times in this movie i found myself just kind of like doing making that face like oh it sounds very accurate like that is gross and they would like stab stuff. Remember that, that one fool's like, why does he have a knife? He's like stabbing that dude in the back oh, <laughs> out, yeah. of that, out of that box car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why does he have a knife? I was like, that's a good question. I'd be pissed well, off. They kept the not taking it away from him because they he's like in the trunk at one point too. And yeah, they like dude, open yeah. the trunk to get him and he's got still got his knife. I'm like, that wasn't very smart. <laughs> and, then, and then he like walks that guy backwards until he just falls off the edge of yeah. that thing and kills himself. I was like, dude, oh, these people. It's yeah. so violent. Yeah, that's one thing about South Korea. Like they they do not mess around with that stuff. They no, that, this dude, this movie was definitely nuts. a pleasant surprise. I honestly couldn't remember even a single thing that you told me about it. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go watch this movie. <laughs> and I was like, I don't remember. If it, I couldn't remember if it was a horror movie or what. And then, like you know, about thirty minutes in, I was like, oh, it's in one of these movies. I like these. These are these are good. I, 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 this is if it wasn't horror, like probably this kind of stuff right after yeah. that for me. Like I, I don't know. I don't know that anything's. It's an I extremely violent crime thriller. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, it's up I mean, all If you really want to get down to brass tacks, it's very similar to, to to horror stuff or slasher, anyways. It's very similar to slasher genre. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's all stabbings and cuttings and axing people to death. Yeah, was and there that's one a, gunshot in this whole movie? I don't think so. Uh, yes. Was there? Yeah. When he when he uh, gets captured, uh, or they almost the police almost catch him on the bus. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, he breaks the window and they're shooting at him because they're yeah. the only ones that have guns. That was yeah, very, very little gunshots in this movie. It was but, more like violent gun, because of it. Yeah, I mean, that's another thing about uh, a lot of Asian movies is you know guns are illegal for normal citizens, so you don't see a lot of guns. So everything's real close. Knives Ooh. and axes are fucking bones, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever they can do. I've had conversations with people and I said, I would, it's easier to shoot somebody than it is to stab somebody. And they just kind of looked at me and I was like, are you going to argue that it is much easier to be 35 yards from somebody and start popping off rounds yeah. than it is to be 18 inches from somebody and stab them. I was like, not to mention the feeling that you're going to get when it hits and then, and then it just goes, Ugh. yeah, and don't ask me how I know that. But like, I'm telling you, it's not, that's yeah it's gnarly that's, dude like it's a it's a disgusting feeling and you won't sleep for a while afterwards um for lack of a better word it's kind of kind of a more intimate way to you know to, no it's much more yeah. personal you know than intimate, yeah it's more sure. personal sure yeah you have to really mean it to i, I almost said you gotta really hate like somebody that. to put a knife in them yeah 
or you have to really be like in my case just full disclosure it was a protection thing i was getting the shit kicked out of me and uh yep. was no fault of my own i was actually quite lucky i had that knife with me and it wasn't some big giant crazy kitchen knife either it was a <laughs> fucking little four inch pocket knife but like that those dudes grabbed the biggest knives i'm like you couldn't get something a little more inconspicuous you had to grab the biggest fucking like big giant chef's knives it's like a Dang. sword you got a katana what are you doing bro <laughs> yeah that movie was really good though very very violent there was only one complaint that i had and i'm glad i remember to say it because i usually don't have complaints about these movies i really enjoy them um and it's not a big complaint I, it doesn't bother me i'll continue to watch movies with this complaint even in them uh at, at a lot of points they did this a whole bunch and i don't know if it was when it was in that guy's pers from that guy's perspective, but it's but uh, at a whole bunch of points in the movie, the camera would do this number, and it wasn't yeah. shaky cam, but it was like this like wobbly like, wavy like cam. Yeah, and it, it I don't get nauseous very often watching movies. I don't it doesn't usually bother me. Shaky cam gives me a headache on occasion, but dude, this one had me turn, and I was like, oh bro, settle down. Like it was just because it wouldn't be five seconds. It was like twenty seconds, just long enough to really kind of. Just get me like, ugh. But uh, yeah. otherwise, otherwise, I yeah. really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, that was a note that I wrote as well. It, like they, they kind of took a note from like the Born Identity sort of, yes, or something like that. It felt very similar in that way. What that is is it's a, called a telephoto lens or a, like a long lens. So they're shooting yeah. from far away. So and it's a tighter shot. So any tiny little movement in the camera is is oh. you see it a lot more. That makes sense. Whereas, I'm trying to shoot stuff from far away with a zoom on, and it does the yeah. same exact thing. I, I see what you're saying now. That makes yeah, sense. a small Perfect movement. Sense. It moves a lot. Yeah. From, wow, what a great explanation. Distance. That was good. I completely understood that. <laughs> I was like, yeah. oh, I know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> that's funny. But the southern accents were fucking atrocious, dude. <laughs> I disagree. Yeah. Upper <laughs> <laughs> patents and pops up. Uh, fucking um. Yeah, I actually I dozed off a little bit. I think I didn't fall asleep, but I was just I was really tired today. So I do have a couple of questions about like basic plot points because like I love the movie, but I missed a couple of things. I think pop quiz, Chris, did I make it through the whole movie without falling asleep one time? Uh, yes. Fuck no, man. No. I can't do that. I can't even watch my favorite movie without falling asleep. <laughs> Granted, it was probably only for about a few seconds because I was literally like forcing my eyes open and I was sitting up and not laying back. But I mean, I, I think at a point, at a couple of points, I was like <laughs> one eye open reading the subtitles. Like if I close one eye, I feel a lot better than if I'm doing this. So I just sat like this and read the subtitles because I've had, a, I was pretty tired today too. That's funny. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I thought I got pretty much what was going on. I didn't. Yeah, uh, I had the volume turned up, so anytime anything happened, it would. I would if if I was like getting drowsy, I would go and start, you know, because there wasn't much quiet in this movie. It was something was happening. It yeah. wasn't boring. This movie was not boring. No, it's um, not, fast, not at all. It's, there's a lot of plot, but it's pretty fast pace. Uh, For a two and a half hour movie, it's got a lot of like mm -hmm. keeps you interested, man. Yeah, and I was I was I was paying attention, kind of paying attention to the editing because okay. there's there's enough story in here that if if it wasn't like well edited then it could have been way longer because they would have they would have cuts where it would be like he's looking for this guy and he sees him get out of a car and then it cuts to him pulling him out of a trunk like you yeah, don't yeah. need to see him go get the guy it you know what's going to happen so it's like economical in that way and it's still two hours and 20 minutes but there's a yeah, lot yeah. of that kind of yeah stuff. there is i noticed a lot of that too yeah <clears throat> I, I already made a note to go try to find a copy of this one to buy so i'm gonna i'm gonna jump on this one i liked it i'm yeah. gonna do the same too yeah um, yeah some of these korean movies are hard to find over here but uh i was it i could i found it on uh amazon uk i couldn't find it on regular yeah amazon. well i'm gonna i'm gonna go on ebay and see what i can find because i have a region free player so i don't care what yeah what it comes on i would prefer blu-ray uh, if I could find one. Man, I had a long talk with a customer today. He was looking for a set of stuff. It was called, uh, let's see if I can find it. It was something that you might, you guys might have heard of this. I've never heard of it. It was Z Zatoichi. You heard of Zatoichi? The blind Zatoichi? Swordsman? Yes. That's yeah, a big samurai movie. Well, it's like 30 samurai movies. Yeah, so, uh, I think it's like 
Is it 30? I was thinking it was like 10 or something. No, like that. dude, it's like 30. Is that many? In, in okay. a TV series. Okay. I've never seen any, but I hear a lot about it. Well, this dude came in today and was looking for it, and he was like talking about spending 230 bucks on a DVD set. And I was like, how much would a Blu-ray set cost? And he was like, like 300. And I was like, dude, you should spend the extra money probably. I was like, I was like, I was like, look, I don't know where the Blu-rays are coming from, so I'm not sure that they're going to be up to snuff. I was like, but I'd be hard pressed to believe that a Blu-ray of almost any kind is going to look as bad as a DVD will now. And he was like, I don't think they look that bad. I just want to watch the movie. I said, dude, if you're this into it and you're willing to spend that kind of money, I was like, I will help you find it. I don't want nothing for it. I just want you to enjoy your purchase because it's a lot of money. And uh, I think I made a, a a a customer and a buddy for you know for a while from that because I, I don't need anything from it, man. I just want. You know how I work, dude. I want people to just be hanging out, chilling, coming in. I want regulars. That's what I want. I want if right. you can drop a drop in the bucket and do it every weekend, do that. Don't bring me a whole bucket full. Just drop a drop in the bucket every weekend. Come in and hang out for a few minutes, pick up a comic book or something every couple of weeks. I'm happy with that. And if I can get enough people to do that, then we're all good. And uh I'm I'm hoping that that's what that created was a was a was a long term uh relationship of some kind because he was very cool, very nice guy, and he likes uh horror stuff and Oh, dude! I can't wait to show you guys what I got. Um, I'll show you at the next when we when we when we re up on the on the time. Okay. Because I'll need to grab it out of my backpack. Um, you're gonna like it. This is cool. This is one of the coolest things that I that I've had come in. It's not like fancy or super strange, but it's really cool. Um, but he was looking for that, and uh, he didn't really understand like the big difference in bl Blu-ray. I thought about this because I said I would like to get a Blu-ray of this movie. Because um, the first one I bought of I Saw the Devil was a DVD, and I actually saw a major difference in quality when I put the Blu-ray in. I was like, oh, wow, I didn't expect it to be like, you know, I was six months removed from watching it, and I still noticed a big difference. I was, that was, that's a big difference. If you can remember how different something looked, but uh, it blew his mind when I took him into the other room. You now we were watching Transformers cartoons, and I was like, hey, I was like, you see how this looks? And he was like, yeah, I was like, this is a DVD, and I popped in... Uh, might have been Daniel Craig movie on Blu-ray. And I was like, no, no, it was something else. I can't remember what it was, but whatever it was, uh, immediately he was like, oh, okay, yeah, I see. And I was like, yeah, dude, it didn't take you long. And I don't know, <laughs> I said, this isn't even like a 4K thing. I said, this is just a 1080p TV with a Blu-ray player and a solid Blu-ray, a good, a good movie. And he was like, huh. And I was like, what kind of TV do you have? And he was like, man, I got to go do some looking. And he, you can tell that he was like, crap, I'm about to spend a lot of money. But, uh, <laughs> Cool, dude anyhow let's move on um did you guys want to talk about the uh yellow sea any longer yeah i just i wanted to ask about yeah, the the wife i i think i missed something with because the wife did die right and i probably spoiler alert i'm josh, assuming eyebrow just raised i think we said something wrong no didn't happen josh <laughs> because i was i was trying to figure out what was in the box at the very end and I remember him mentioning the he was paying for the for cremation. cremation. Yeah, I was assuming that was his wife. Am I am I mixing things up or? Yeah, so they they seem to make it intentionally vague. And this okay, you saw the scene after the credits, right? Yes. Chris? Okay. Yes. You did not, right, Randall? I did not. You can tell me. I don't care. It's all good. So it's the so. At the end, it shows a train mm -hmm. and a young lady getting off of a train, which appears to be his wife. See, okay. I didn't think she died. That's what I, yeah, I didn't think. Okay. I, yeah. I never got the impression she was dead. Yeah. It seemed to me like they were just saying that to him to get him over there well, to get a hold of him, right? Well, he, he like hires a guy to go look at the body. And it's and the guy says, he's like, um, yeah, like immediately he's like, he looks at the photo. He's like, "Fuck, I can't tell if it's her or not." Yeah, yeah. he tells him tells immediately. Him, yes. I saw it. I was yeah. like, "You like, yeah. asshole!" Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, it was, was her. Yeah, I was yeah. kind of in and out during that scene. I was like, I remember yeah. those, but yeah, and like at the very end, whenever he goes to the bank and he sees that guy from the business card that he was looking for. Huh? Oh, can y'all see that? Yeah, yeah. Love okay, it. by the host, unlimited minutes. Okay. Yeah. Well. Okay. On my end, it says running out of time. We've removed the forty-minute time limit on your group meeting. Cool. Maybe it's because it's the first one we're doing. Possibly. Maybe they just really uh, are. 
understanding that we're living in a really strange time right now and they're not being pricks about shit. I don't yeah. know. Cool. Yeah, I've heard that they, that they kind of ignore the time limit sometimes too. So cool. <clears throat> but, yeah. uh, we'll we'll, we'll, yeah, so we'll kind of use this as a, as a, as a template and we'll see, or not a template, but a trial and we'll see what, uh, see what happens. Yeah. Um, I was assuming but, it was Gwyneth Paltrow's head in a box, but <laughs> that's just because I really like Seven a lot. Yeah. But uh, there was a lot of callbacks to other movies, specifically like Seven. Like, I think that that was an intentional, the way he carried it around, I think that they're like, like tip of the hat to a bunch of different stuff. Like, I couldn't recall all of it, but I saw a bunch of stuff that I thought like, that reminds me of fill in the blank. So there's a lot of cool stuff in this movie that intentional or not, I thought was pretty rad yeah so so what was that's so that's why i thought it was his wife remains in the box because i was like well i was originally thinking it was his wife that lived and it wasn't but i was like well why would he be carrying around a box like that if it wasn't well, because they, dude, he, he thought he thought she died. He thought she was dead her not he being dead, he didn't know she wasn't dead yeah, he they told him that. they told him and then he saw her in the thing and then just kind of discarded it and didn't really care about it right well, he killed himself at the end. Spoiler alert. I think he just bled out, didn't he? Or did he? I assumed he killed himself. Oh, no. I, yeah, I thought he bled out, too. Yeah, he was, he was sitting in the boat. He was, like, going back to China. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. He, he went and got, out. He, like, hijacked that dude's boat and then mm -hmm. just kind of sailed off. Honestly, they left it pretty open-ended. I didn't – you really can't yeah. – Yeah, I know I know he was injured. It just – it didn't seem like he was injured enough to – die so i just what either, that fool have like 46 stab yeah, wounds. he did <laughs> yeah he got stabbed pretty bad he did. yeah he was bleeding i figured that that was how it was gonna end he was just gonna bleed out um and then the guy yeah. just throws him off of the boat <laughs> right dexter um, style i yeah. mean you know yeah the, but, the, but it's like one of those uh it's tragic that the that his wife wasn't dead you know she's the exactly. catalyst to all this bullshit Mm. And she's not even dead, so he did a bunch of stuff he wouldn't have done had he known. Well, yeah, there's he would have tried to get out of it or something, but it probably wouldn't have ended that exact same way. Yeah, that moment had a lot of irony, and then uh, when the guy's dying and you find out the whole reason to kill the professor, I was like, because because he was banging old dude's wife. Yeah, yeah. or he did, like, or he, was it an assault, or was it like a mutual? It was an assault, wasn't it? Like he raped his wife in their home. He used the word "fuck," so I don't know if he raped her or if it was a mutual. <laughs> I I just took it. I just took it as like, as you know, just adult. You know, he just slept with his wife. But, okay, so it was adultery yeah, versus a, a he, sexual crime. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I wasn't sure. Yeah, that's the way I took it. I mean, yeah, I couldn't yeah. tell. I just, yeah, me too. I mean, I didn't take it either way. I just went, huh? That's really <laughs> effed up. <laughs> but either way, like all this carnage and violence and you know death. And you know all this shit over you know some guy fucking your what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, they say pussy is power. I've been inside one. Shit. It's pretty amazing. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd have We've... to agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marissa pretty could kick me the balls every morning, and I'd probably stick around. No. <laughs> She's like, good morning. I'm like, oh, God, I think I still like you, but I like that. Oh. But, uh, yeah, I just thought it was ironic because like, they hold it till the very end. They're like, why Why do they want to kill this guy? You know? There's a lot of mystery to the what's and why's. And yeah. I, dude, I'll be honest with you. Most. Asian, specifically Korean movies that I have personally seen, they do that a lot. They 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 don't they, don't, they unravel things really mm -hmm. slowly. Like in, in, yeah. in, in over here in America, our movies are like, here's all the catalysts to all this shit oh. happening. Now watch it unfold. The stuff that I'm seeing over in the Eastern countries is, okay, here's a bunch of stuff happening, and at the very end, here's why. Mm -hmm. So, I, I like I like the variety though, man. I, I'm I'm really happy that we can find movies because. You know what, what? I would get really tired of just the same old thing. I love the same old thing most times, but every now and then I need something different, man. And I, st but I, but I still want the kind of movies that I like. I still want the genres that I'm a fan of. So 
it's cool to see like a, another country putting out something that I can really get behind and, and enjoy and want to go purchase and own and show my friends, you yeah. know. Well, I'm really glad you guys liked it. I, I mean, I, it was Very a, much. it was a, you know, risk cause I haven't, hadn't seen it. So. Yeah. 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 I definitely want to go see the chaser now cause Dude, you I already to. wanted to, but definitely going to. I freaking love that movie. I think it's, pretty close to a masterpiece notice i haven't said anything about it because i can't remember it i don't remember <laughs> if i saw it i don't remember if i didn't see it yeah we, saw it. we did a video together about it bam there we go <laughs> <laughs> hold on let me look at the poster real quick uh hey dude welcome to my That's life the same two main actors from this movie but it's flipped the the like the um the ah, yeah, that's uh, right the i gang saw the poster leader. and immediately remembered it it had the hand with the yeah. two faces yes. Yeah. He was a pimp and his uh and his girls kept getting disappearing and he's yeah, like chasing right. after the serial <laughs> that is killer. a good movie. Yes, Dude, Chris, movie's you need to see freaking that. awesome. I, I was trying it. to remember it, I couldn't do it. I was like, dang God, I have to tell Josh yeah. I don't remember it. But uh <laughs> but uh yes, Chris, you, you would that movie is really yeah. great. I forgot about the <laughs> they just kept disappearing. Uh oh, that was fucked up. It's so yeah, I'm good. definitely gonna go watch it. Yeah, the frizzy haired dude is the guy that has he's the one with all the girls disappearing. Yeah, he's the pimp. Yeah, yeah. I like that guy. He's tough, yeah. he's brutal. Yeah, I like surprisingly, I haven't seen him in you know that many movies. Just that guy scares two. the shit out of me, man. But he's really good. Like he's a great actor. I yeah. feel like he might just be kind of like that in real life. <laughs> Maybe. He wakes up in the morning, he's like, I'm gonna beat you with a pig bone. You're like, all right, thanks. Man. <laughs> yeah. Well, what'd you guys give this one as a grade? Uh, um, I was uh, fluctuating between eight, five and nine. Um, I'll go eight, five. I fluctuate yeah. between nine and nine, five. Really? I think it's pretty, as far as what it is, it's not, I wouldn't call it a Christopher Nolan movie, but I don't think it has to be to get that kind of grade. It just has to be, the movie that it is executed to a certain degree yeah. earns the grade that I would give it is the way I look at it. So even a B movie could come out and have a low budget, but be done well, be done with care. And then they could make the best of what they have. I'll still give it a nine five. That's just, I don't know if that's how you're critiquing things, but that's how I look at it is just, what did I think of it? Not necessarily objectively speaking, is it the greatest film ever? But I, I think yeah. I give it a nine. I think I stuck with a nine. Yeah. I mean, I'm easy 8.5. Like, if I'd have not dozed off a little bit, I probably would give it a little higher. But I definitely want to go watch it again because I think that could go up to a nine. Yeah, it's it, it was. I was watching and I was thinking, I could watch this again already. Like yeah. the just the action is so much so awesome. It's well, I've already figured that I want to see if Crystal wants to watch it. She likes to watch foreign films on occasion, not all the time, but sometimes yeah. she'll watch them with me. And I don't think that she watched I Saw the Devil, but I do think this would be a better one for her to watch as far as those two movies because they're kind of similar but this one just isn't quite on that brutality level yeah it's close it's just not good dude i thought the devil's got some shit in there it's like it's gonna scar you watching <laughs> it but uh yeah yeah tori watched the chaser with me when i watched it the second time before we did her oh talk, yeah and she she even liked it and that one's real brutal too yeah she crystal likes a lot of brutal stuff i just i just don't want to I'd, I'd rather give it to her and increments and not be like here's a fucking you know i'm not gonna let her watch a serbian film like i'm just <laughs> shit yeah i don't want to watch that either <laughs> yeah, no, I, I wouldn't ask you to like i don't know that there would be ever a time where that would be something that i would choose for our group unless it was brought up by one of y'all and then i would probably just shrug my shoulders and go if you really want to i don't particularly want to watch it but i will it yeah. is a and it, that that's the definition of a gnarly film dude like it is fucked up, dude. Have you have you heard of it much? I've heard of it, Oof. but it's on the it's on the list of like Antichrist and yeah. stuff like that. That the most yeah yeah up like you said like you said I'd I'd watch it if you know we wanted to discuss it or whatever. But it's probably not something I'm gonna sit down and and I watch. Would really, the only thing fun. I would like to know about that movie is if you two had the stomach to sit through it because I almost I could almost couldn't make it. It, oh, it you watched every, it? Do what? You watched it? Yeah, dude, I didn't really understand what I was getting myself into, to be honest. It's, it's been okay. a while since I watched it. I hadn't watched it in the last few years. 
I don't even think I had kids when I watched it. It's been a little while. Because I thought we talked about it and you said you, you hadn't watched it, but... Either way. I when I did watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, I've just heard, you know, about things about it and I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I don't... Yes, not, yes don't here. No, it's got, like, <laughs> well, it's got like kid shit in it, man. Like, that, yeah, exactly. I don't think I watched the whole thing, actually. I can't remember, man. Yeah. Fucking whatever. I'm going to end up watching part of it later with y'all and being like, having like these fucking like uh, fits of PTSD because I'm like remembering, oh, I did watch this at one point. Why? Uh, <laughs> man. I don't know. My memory is really piss poor when it comes to this stuff. But uh, yeah, that's a that's a pretty rough one, man. That's uh, the first time I ever heard of it was on a list of the top 10 most extreme something or other and it was like number one and then it it popped up on another list similar number one and then i was like what is this and then i just i didn't understand what it was so i didn't know anybody else that had seen it and that people weren't really describing it very well in these lists because it was on youtube and they were like describing little bits of it but i was thinking like oh yeah cannibal holocaust is pretty gross and brutal and it just it was on a different level man it's like i'm trying to remember if i even watched the whole damn movie i might have just watched the clips of it to be honest with you I think I did maybe just watch clips because I'm kind of remembering me and you talking about it. I don't think I watched the whole movie. I don't know if I could. It's fucking gross. What I have seen in that movie that I can recall is absolutely rough. I, I don't know if y'all can even sit through it. I I don't really. It's one of those as few. There's like a really graphic rape scenes are hard for mm-hmm. me to watch, and this is quite a bit more advanced than that. As far I don't know why people would make that movie. Why why would you make something like that? Like just to show that you can. To be edgy, yes. the, yeah, the, no. the lord of the edge lord. <laughs> <laughs> what a uh, antichrist! Who made that movie? Lars von Trier. Von Trier? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I heard that was pretty stupid. I haven't seen that one. Yeah. Me oh. Did he? Is he the one that did uh, the house that Jack built? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, that movie has two very amazing parts, and the rest of it is pretty garbage. <laughs> I like Matt Dillon. I was. That's why I watched it. I was excited to see him. I like him a lot. I think. Antichrist is Willem Dafoe, isn't it? Uh, yes. yes. All right. Have you seen a complete shift in in like <laughs> style? Have you seen a movie called uh, Employee of the Month with Matt Dillon? Not the one, not the bullshit with like Dane Cook in it. There's one no. that came out like two years before that. <laughs> it's like a low budget. It's got Matt Dillon, Steve Zahn, Christina Applegate, and somebody else in it. And it just kind of came. It came and went very under the radar. I saw it at like Blockbuster Video. And was like, oh, this is cool. And I, I, bar, I bought it or rented it or something. And I watched it and it blew my mind how good it was because it's very much a dark black comedy. But uh, I used to have my uh, my voicemail was a part from that movie. Uh, I'll find a clip and send it to y'all later. It's really funny. But cool. What else, what else did y'all watch this week? So I watched a movie called Get Low. I had never heard of it before my father-in-law was in town and oh that's why i've heard of it because you told me <laughs> yeah we're talking about it i feel like i know that that was the one i mentioned nice. last night um but yeah he was just he doesn't watch a lot of stuff but he was over at the house he's like well what do you want to watch we can watch whatever you want and he he's like said, porn he's like <laughs> damn it <laughs> so yeah so he brought this movie up and we watched it and it was really good um it's Robert Duvall, uh, Bill Murray, Sissy Spacek, and a few other people's names I don't know, but I recognized them. Uh, Robert Duvall just plays like a crotchety old man that just decides that he wants to have a funeral before he dies. <laughs> That's awesome. So he goes to Bill Murray, who runs a, a funeral home, and you know, kind of convincing him to, to do it. And it's basically just Robert Duvall just being like crotchety and angry at everybody. And sure he's good turns, at that. Out, turns out to be a really good movie. It's really good. But it's set in like the fifties or something like that. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit older, Excuse um, me. you know, you know, like Appalachian type setting. I want to say it's like Ohio or, but yeah, it was, it was really good. I was surprised. I'd never heard of it before. I want to check that one out. 
Yeah, it sounds interesting. Um, yeah, I've never heard of it, but sounds cool. I love Bill Murray. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like both those guys, Bill Murray and Robert Duvall. Those are both. Yeah, good. yeah. Robert Duvall too. He's awesome. He very. He's kind of underrated, I think. Right. People never bring him up, but he's one of those great actors. So it's yeah. been 35 minutes, so I'm going to keep an eye on what's going on on the screen. So if I keep looking like I'm staring at shit, my apologies. Um, okay. So this week, I honestly, dude, after what happened last week and this week being so crazy and busy, I didn't really know what was happening. So I just didn't really do anything on like a – with like a – I didn't do anything – what's the word? I, it wasn't uh, – focused in on going to talk about this one thing but i did watch two things that i was at least talk wanting to talk about for a minute one i got to go back and start re-watching the tales from the crypt from season one episode one i'm in the process of watching all of it because i got the box set and i finally cracked it open um i'm excited man i got to go back and you know as a kid i watched all this stuff and everybody knows what tales of the crypt is an anthology series based on a comic book from i believe it was dc uh Crypt Keeper, and they had a couple of movies, Bordello of Blood and uh, Demon Knight came out. And uh, there was a, um, I'll have to revisit this conversation next week when I bring it up, because I'll probably talk just a little bit about Tales of the Crypt, what I learned about it, because it's a long series. I can't watch all of it at once. But there was, Army of Darkness was supposed to be a Tales from the Crypt movie and something else. And I, for the life of me, can't remember what the other one was. I should have written it down. I just, I heard it on a uh, on like a video about Tales from the Crypt because I was like in the mood for Tales from the Crypt stuff. So I started like going to YouTube and finding like it's kind of what you do with your directors and things, Josh. I was just looking for information on it and just kind of get, so what can I look forward to type of thing? And because like Arnold Schwarzenegger directed an episode of it. I saw like a early 20s Demi Moore in one of the episodes and like just, I had completely forgotten that Tales from the Crypt was an HBO show. So there's nudity, cursing, blood. I was like, I wasn't expecting any of that. I don't remember that being that way. I remember it being kind of campy. And it is, but it's got like a lot of adult content. But as far as a, a movie that I watched, Chris and I sat down and she finally watched The French Connection with me. How much did Gene Hackman run in that movie? <laughs> a God, lot. <laughs> and that fool was just constantly running upstairs i'm like dude bro calm down but uh man i really really love that movie like it's they don't make movies like that anymore man they don't um we watched something else together too and i said the same exact thing after that we watched uh oh whenever i watched um gladiator with her i was gonna do my review the first thing i told her was man i'm uh they don't make movies like this anymore where it just starts and it ends and that's that everything's a freaking franchise now i'm really tired of franchises they're i'm getting burnt out on it um when josh ellis came to the store this week we were we were talking on friday and he was talking about tenet and how he wished they could do like a trilogy of it and i was like first off i don't got the energy for a trilogy of that i just simply don't um and i said but dude i don't want a trilogy of it man let it be its own thing and he was like no nah, man i want like awesome sequels he's like you don't love it when i do like a sequel and then another one and then like another one and like i was like nah, dude, I, no dude I, I don't marvel has ruined that for me marvel has ruined the blockbuster for me are they still doing it really well and making great products i mean as far as i know yes but they've really put me in a spot where i don't really enjoy that stuff anymore iron man one mind-blowing i loved it when i watched it i couldn't wait for another movie like it but then when it's for a year, I'm just I'm I'm done, man. I don't I don't want them. I don't even I'm not even hate on them. They're good movies. I just don't want to go watch them. Like I don't need it. I'll watch it on my off time when it just kind of pops up and it's convenient. But I'm not gonna go to a theater and watch those unless I'm going with you fellas. Like hey yo, this is coming out. We're really excited about it. And I'm jumping in on on that. I'm in I'm into that. But like every couple of months, that being the big thing for me, I just don't have it in me, man. It's exhausting. Yeah, still being a fan of that stuff. I think this like little break of this year, I think will do probably Marvel movies a good just give everybody a just a good breather from all that because they were kind of getting a little bit much. It was just, getting crazy, man. Yeah, two or two or three a year is is a lot for that. I mean, then you have DC doing the same stuff, dudes. So you got two major companies doing the same thing, and you're just like, I swear, every time I turn around, it's another major announcement 
for a DCEU or MCU thing. And like, I'm not, again, I'm not hating on it, man. People that go enjoy them, cool. I have no problem with that. I'm just burnt out on it because probably because of the business that I'm in, I'm around that material so much, even now that I'm just, I can't enjoy yeah. it. Like I would maybe if I was a kid or something, I'm looking forward to the Thor movie. Kind of uh, I think I'd like to see the Batman movie because I'm really, I'm a Batman fan, but Robert Pattinson is that's intriguing to me. But other than that, there's not a lot that I'm really interested in that's coming out soon. The one woman movie I have no desire to watch. Um, the Justice League Snyder Cut, I don't give a fuck about. Uh, I will probably watch that out of morbid curiosity. I think that I would like to see what's so different about it. I want to see why people think it's going to be some amazing thing. I just don't think it's going to be that good. I think it'll be probably a little better than the one that was released and freaking two times as long. So I don't know. Yeah. But I'll try to have one movie dialed in this week that I can write some notes on and we can talk a little more uh about one specific thing but that's what i watched this week i watched a couple of things and uh you know i really enjoyed early 2000s blockbusters i you know late 90s blockbusters you know even when like they had uh sequels and stuff it was two and three years in between them die hard would come out and then die hard 2 was two years later and you got to wait two whole years to see the story kind of evolve and it, and it was more or less its own thing just with the same name it really wasn't like this interwoven thing where you can watch black panther and then you can watch a movie that had nothing to do about him but for some reason he's involved with it and you're like oh my goodness <laughs> yeah no i'm on the same same train with you all the sequels and uh, universe stuff can definitely wear you down i like just a good story beginning middle and end and th that's it that's, those are my favorite movies anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's yeah. just it's easier to digest. You can really dissect it. And you're not like... Uh, tr like like uh, Prisoners is one that I always think of when I think of you. Not that it's a blockbuster, mm. but that's one of the first movies that you and I talked about that both of us went like real deep into watching videos on it. Um, I don't even know if you realize I did that. I've watched a lot of video on that movie because I really thought that movie was good. It's one of the first ones like that that we really connected on that we both immediately were like, oh no, I like that movie. Oh, so do I. And we really had a, I don't even know if either of us would have thought of that movie, but it, for some reason it popped up in conversation. I think you were telling me like some of your favorite movies and that was on really high on your list, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> yeah. And, uh, you know, you can go in and dissect this movie and you're not doing it in a way that is going to prohibit you from actually finding out the right information because you're not in a hurry. You're not trying to rush and find this out so that you can know something about another movie. No, you're doing it so you can find out what's going on with that one. And you want to go deeper and deeper and deeper into that story. Yeah. Um, you know, I think there's a place for all this Marvel stuff. If there wasn't, it wouldn't exist. But, you know, that place is probably not going to be on my shelf. It'll be on somebody else's, which is perfectly fine. I'm not hating on anybody. Uh, I have a lot of that stuff at the shop. I, I If it comes on at the shop, I don't mind watching it. I just... You know, it's kind of repetitive, I think, is really what it is. It's just the same same formula over and over. Uh, I like. I almost fell into a, 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 a Swords and Sandals hole after watching mm. Gladiator. There was like 10 movies I was like, oh, no, I don't want to do this. Like, let me, let me back off and not jump into that deep end because I love those movies, but I don't want to burn myself out. Yeah. Yeah, when I watched uh, that, 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 uh, Gladiator's, freaking great movie too you know i've, I've got that tat tattooed on my arm i love that movie um but I, well, I just watched spartacus you know recently when you bought me the 4k yeah, yeah, yeah. and i didn't realize how much gladiator had taken from that movie because oh really it is so much a similar story like kurt douglas you know becomes a slave and is forced to be a gladiator and like leads a revolt and all this stuff it gets it the scope of it's much wider and it's a longer movie it's over three hours but um but there's a lot did chris just drop out yeah where'd chris go internet problems uh-oh he just said fuck y'all <laughs> spartacus fuck that yeah dude <laughs> <laughs> um let's see here well I mean, shoot, dude, honestly, we got pretty close to what we were aiming to do. Uh, 
we all got to talk about our movies. Um, this is a trial run with a new program. Chris is having internet trouble anyway, so I'm not I'm not too worried about it. If it would have happened 10 minutes in, that would suck. Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't really know what to do other can, than, like, wrap it up and then make sure he's okay. <laughs> like, Can we add him back in? Uh, you or? know what? Probably. I guess so. I'm, dude, I'm so not good at this stuff. You know that, Josh. Okay, let's see. See if you can invite him back in. I'm looking for the... Here we go. <laughs> this thing. Invite. Let's... All right, let's see what happens. Okay, I've, in- I've re-invited him. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that fool just disappeared. Dude, well, I think both of our faces were probably very similar because I was like, um... I was literally mid-sentence, so I was just like, oh, okay. Well, I, was, I was honestly paying quite a bit of attention, so it threw me completely <laughs> off and it just went bloop. Uh, I don't know. It's like that uh, movie, that Brendan. <laughs> He's just gone. Uh, this is I a whole movie, it, folks. But... <laughs> Dude, they did a whole movie on Zoom. That's crazy, man. Yeah. 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 Um, I was gonna bring up real quick. I I, I bought the um, the Full Metal Jacket 4K. Rewatched that this week, which looked really good. And so when I was at the store, they had uh, Apocalypse Now, the 4K. I saw that, that in the background. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I got it right here. It's freaking yeah, I beautiful. Didn't buy that. I didn't even know that one came out. Yeah, it came out a while back, like a oh, year okay. or two ago. But it's only twenty bucks. Man, it's got six discs. Where'd you buy it? At Best Buy. Best Buy. Yeah, they had it for I'll twenty bucks. I'll go pick Man, it up. It is gorgeous. Like, and I I watched the uh, the I watched the movie. It's, I mean, it's so beautiful. It's been it's been probably ten years since I've seen that movie. I forgot uh, so much about it. It's been over twenty for me. Is it uh? Is it four K? Yeah, it's four K. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and there's there's actually three different cuts of the movie. Good grief! Um, and they they restored all three versions on 4K. So there's a that's ridiculous. So there's two discs of the 4K movies. Yeah, Chris's internet went out. Yeah. So our apologies, everybody. We will take care of. It. We'll wrap it up here in a minute, and we'll, we'll yeah, we'll just on. I'll just finish my thought, and then we'll wrap it up. But yeah, no worries, do take your time. Uh, yeah, there's they so they put there's two discs for the three 4K versions, and then there's two discs for the Blu-ray versions, and then there's two discs for for uh, uh, the special features. And I don't know if you've ever heard of it. There's a whole uh, documentary about the making of the movie called Hearts of Darkness. Well, uh, oh wow, no, I don't know. Where about that. you should watch it if you if you buy it, it's worth watching because the making of the movie was as like maddening and chaotic as the movie itself is i've heard a little bit now i have a feeling that's going to go much deeper into all the details but i have heard a couple of things uh in reference to apocalypse now yeah with martin sheen right he's in that one yeah Yeah, okay i couldn't remember i was making sure that this was the right film uh with martin sheen i have like real alcohol problems uh yeah like other things i can't recall but i have heard that there was a there was a a tough a tough movie yeah, to make. They, they, I mean, they shot for like almost two years God, in the jungle, no. and they, they, they ran into all sorts of problems. They had uh, two monsoons or typhoons that tore down, that ripped down their set, like huge sets. What? And uh, Martin Sheen had a heart attack in the middle of filming, and like just crazy, crazy stuff. I mean, Martin um, Sheen looks like Emilio Estevez in that movie. <laughs> yeah, a lot yeah Dude, straight up yeah it's crazy how much yeah how much him and charlie and emilio all look the same <laughs> Dude, uh i want to watch minute work soon i don't think i've ever seen that so charlie Shee, you... emilio Espes, sure. and then, uh, the black dude from uh they live oh uh, okay he plays like a, yeah. he plays like a supervisor that has to go on their route with them because they're fucking up and then just like insane shit happens. It's it's pretty it's pretty funny. I mean, it's an '80s corny comedy. I I love that shit. Weekend at Bernie style. Hell yeah. Right. I think I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. They did that movie, and they did something else. They did two movies together that were like in the same time, and I can't remember what the other one is. But hell yeah. yeah. Well, honestly, this this ended up being quite a bit of time. I gotta figure out how to uh, 
you know, doing all this other stuff with, with the new thing, I, I think it'll be all right. It shouldn't be too difficult, I guess. I'm looking at my screen trying to figure out where all that stuff will be at, but I don't know. So, well, Josh, I will talk to you probably in the next day or two. I mean, I'm having a kid pretty soon. Oh, yeah, anybody out there that knows what's going on in my life, we're about to have a baby, uh, presumably. Uh, yeah. 5 are, we taking, are we going to skip next week, take a – week off or wasn't planning uh, on it I'm, i mean okay. since we're having him on wednesday assuming that he i'll let i'll let y'all know but assuming that him and carissa are healthy i was planning on being at work this weekend i can't really afford to take the time off if i don't have to as long as okay. she's healthy comfortable and the baby's okay then i'll do that with my phone very close to me um unless it's an emergency for some reason talking for an hour on a sunday night shouldn't be a problem cool do you want to make yeah. a pick for next week since chris, chris oh, is not here <laughs> hey um no, man, he had something on mind. We'll talk to him. We'll figure it out. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll let him pick still. And then, um, cause I didn't, I, I didn't have it ready. So no, I'd rather just, I don't want to pick something in haste. Let's let him, okay. let's let him use his pick. And uh, that gives me next week. I can think about something to pick. That'll be cool for all of us to watch. Sounds good. Awesome. Well, thank everybody for watching. I hope you made it this far through this new setup we got with zoom. I hope it looks good. I hope it sounds good. And uh, if there's any complaints, please let us know in the comments. Uh, otherwise we will see you guys back next week. Uh, same bat time, same bat channel. Later. <laughs>